Now there are several different types of input slots. If you have one just by itself, that's a required input slot. If you have one inside its own parentheses, that comes in as B with nil. Nil is an empty list or a falsehood in common list. So this gives the default of nil. If it comes in like this, then it's optional and the default value is 10. If it's like this with the name of value and then the keyword settable, then it's optional. It has a default value of 20, but it can be bashed or set to a new value after the object has been instantiated. Here's an example of a wing with some more inputs. These are all optional inputs, and the computed slots all have expressions which use, either directly or indirectly, some of these input slots. For the first exercise, we want to make a fuselage where the inputs are a diameter and a length, and the outputs would be volume, a wetted surface, and a slenderness ratio, length divided by the diameter. Here's how it should end up looking in Tasty. So we'll do the beginning of this exercise. I'll go to my temporary directory and open a file called solutions.lisp and we'll start with in package gdl user that's the default generic package so we would have define object fuselage and it can mix in base object because it does have some geometry in the exercise if we said it has input slots diameter and length the outputs or the computed slots should be volume wetted surface and slenderness ratio so volume which will have some expression that computes it. Sorry, volume is supposed to be V, capital V. Wetted surface is SW, which is, has, again, an expression. And the slenderness ratio, the name for that will be slenderness. And that will be divide the L by the D, because that's given directly in the slide. So for the actual exercise, you can fill in these other two expressions right here. And I can compile this as it is now in its incomplete form. And we get a compiler error here. Keyword list input slot should only contain keys, should only contain these certain keys. Unexpectedly found this stuff. That's because we started the computed slot section and forgot to put that keyword computed slots. So we'll add the keyword of computed slots, push A to abort this debug buffer compile again and this time we compile with no warnings go ahead and do a make self fuselage and we can ask this one for its slenderness the slenderness I could not handle the l message because we didn't pass any values for d and l so let's on our make object we'll give it a d of say 10 and an l of 50. now we can ask for the slenderness which would be five that ratio the third main section keyword for a defined object is objects with objects, you can define child objects. So that means that we're defining a wing with engine, which contains an engine, a single engine of type engine. Now we defined engine here as mixing in a simple cylinder for now, and with a single required input slot called Tmax. So we'll go ahead and compile that. Now the wing with engine has some input slots. It has some computed slots and it also contains one object of type engine. The Tmax for this engine is, so this Tmax here is the Tmax. That means the Tmax in this child engine part, we're referring to this Tmax here, which is in the parent part. We'll go ahead and compile that, passing in the exact same Tmax, which is specified here in the wing with engine. So we'll go ahead and compile that, and now we could do a make self of wing with engine and ask for the engine. And instead of returning a value, we see that returns another object, which is that engine instance. And we could ask for that engine's T max, which is a thousand, as you would expect. It's the same as what got passed in from the parent. Now it's also possible to have a child object in a sequence. That means you have essentially an array, or more than one, of the child object, where each one could take different values for some inputs. So in this example, we have a list with four numbers for T max list, and we're making the engine be a sequence. First of all, we call it engines, and we're making it a sequence whose size is the length of that Tmax list. Each individual Tmax that we're passing in is the nth of the child index. Now the child index will automatically evaluate to 0, 1, 2, or 3 in this case. So we'll pull in the 0th, the 1,000, the 1th, the 800, the 2th, the 900, or the 1,200, depending on which child we are working with. 